Hi y'all. I've been talking about wanting to do a life update video for a little bit on, I talked about it in the last vlog I just posted and I actually talk about it in the vlog that I'm about to be posting. I thought I might as well just get it done over with. Um, it's not like that deep, but it's just like, there's just been a lot of life changes since I vlogged in May. I obviously moved to Georgia in Jan last January, so when I started vlogging, I had already moved. I was working at Palm Beach Tan and I was working full time as an assistant manager and that was great, whatever. Wasn't entirely sure what my plan was. I had had to withdraw from school just due to finances and I was, I was doing fine mentally, but I was like really stressed about my future because I just didn't know what I wanted to do. Like I wanted to eventually go back to UGA, but I didn't know how that was gonna happen financially. So come like, I think it was July when I finally decided, I think I wanted to pursue real estate. So I started working at getting a real estate license and I'm actually still in the process of doing that because I was so busy with work and I ended up getting a bartending job. So I was busy with, super busy with work. And I could not, like I didn't have like almost any free time to do anything. So I was just not getting my real estate stuff done. So I had to add on an extra four months to it. So I'm still actually currently doing that. I decided to pursue that and then I was all happy, whatever, and then I actually got a job bartending in downtown Athens at a bar, and that job, great. I am just not really the big, too big on the getting off at like 4 a.m. because that really smashes my sleep schedule. I'm still currently employed there. I'm just on pickup only, um, which I haven't really had time to pick up shifts lately because I've been crazy busy with volleyball. So I started working at the bar, was working full time at Palm Beach, and I started coaching volleyball. So I was doing that on Sundays and Wednesdays. And I was also, actually, I don't even think I had it on Sundays and Wednesdays. I think it was Mondays. I don't know. Whatever day it was, I was there for the entire like four hours of practice because they didn't know where they were going to put me. So I was spending a lot of my nights either at volleyball or at the bar and then I would wake up and just go to Palm Beach Tan. So I didn't really have a lot of free time. I was starting to get really stressed out. Um, my life felt like it was just kind of like just too much. I, I then decided I was going to, well, I didn't decide actually. I had somebody reach out to me about possibly working with him and I was like, you know what? Like might as well. I felt like I was being overworked at Palm Beach and underpaid. Um, just frustrating. It is what it is. Um, and then I got the job through this guy. So uh, it was through the insurance company that I now work with. A year ago, if you would have told me what I was doing in my life, I would have been like, you're crazy. That's not what, you, what I'm doing. I started working there in December and I went down to part-time at Palm Beach. So I was coaching volleyball, working part-time at Palm Beach when I could, um, working at the bar still, and then obviously working in the insurance company full-time. So that ended up getting just to be too much and I just didn't have any time at all ever. So I ended up going on pickup only at the bar because one, I was just so overwhelmed, super stressed, and two, volleyball tournaments were about to start and I'd have most of my weekends taken up. I went on pickup only and then I ended up getting, there's a situation that happened with Palm Beach and I just decided to just part ways with the company and I am working a new real estate license. I'm almost done. I just have to take the pre-licensing course exam in Atlanta. And then if I pass that, which cross our fingers I do because I don't have to take it more than once. Um, then I would, I wouldn't apply. I would go to take my state exam and I ha would have to pass that obviously. And then I would apply to get my license. Um, and that would kind of just be the start of it all. Well, not the start, but the start of my real estate career. Um, I'm also 
obviously working with an insurance company and I think I also want to get my insurance license. I know crazy. How can I work real estate and insurance? I'm just a workaholic, so that is what it is. But I want to get my insurance license once I'm done with real, my real estate license and I still want to work with this company that I'm with when I start my real estate stuff. I really, really enjoy the, working with the company that I work with and I am learning so much every single day. So I would love to just keep that job when I can. That is kind of like my career stuff. I am still with the same boyfriend. Garrett is still um, my boyfriend. We're still dating, We're doing great. We did go to visit my family in October at I in Iowa. And that was really great. Um, I've only been able to visit home once, which sounds really sad and seems crazy. I really miss my friends back home and I miss my dog, miss my cat, miss my family. I will say, even though I miss them so much, I'm doing phenomenal in Georgia, mentally, physically, just all over the place. I mean, just in every aspect of my life, I'm doing a lot better. I did stop starving myself, so I used to have a problem with just not eating. I had an issue with some things in high school. It is what it is. And Garrett kind of helped me start to realize that I could not just like starve myself the way I was that I needed to eat. So I started kind of eat and then fast forward to like November. It was more like October, November when I really started getting into the gym and lifting and I can safely say I don't do cardio that much. Um, right now I'm actually on a bulk um, or trying to bulk and I'm going to start cutting in March. And then I just recently started making TikToks and I think it was basically the beginning of January on a second TikTok account that I made. And I just kind of post like fitness videos, get ready with me, it's just kind of stuff like that. And I really like doing that. It's fun. I will say sometimes when I actually edit a video and put a lot of effort into it, it just like flops, but it is what it is. It's kind of how it is with the YouTube videos too, but I just really like talking to the camera and vlogging and talking about my life. It just, I'm very open. So it doesn't entirely bother me because it's just something I like to do. And I also started a second Instagram that is called Savannah K Fit. So I post like fitness stuff and I really made it kind of because I wanted to share my journey like with like the eating stuff and like physical activity because obviously I used to be not entirely overly obsessed with it, but I was more overly obsessed with like being skinny, burning as many calories as possible. And I just had a really unhealthy relationship with food and the gym. We've started to improve that. Obviously I said I'm coaching a volleyball team. I coach 14 year olds. I played club volleyball for eight years. So coaching was a big thing I wanted to do because I just miss being around volleyball and it has been really fun. I wouldn't even care if I didn't get paid to do it, but I do get paid to do it. I am trying to get better into dieting and meal prepping and not dieting, dieting in a healthy way, <laughs> meal prepping, drinking enough water, taking creatine, taking protein, like all that kind of stuff. And I actually did just become a bucked up ambassador. So if you want to get any bucked up pre-workouts or their pre-workouts are really good. They have all kinds of different flavors, all kinds of different types of pre-workouts. So they have high stimulant, low stimulant. They just have like a generic pre-workout. I'm trying to think of all the, they have so many. Just go take a look at the website. I will link it down below. And also if you want to get 20% off, use my code Savannah K. So that's S-A-V-A-N-N-A-H-K-A-Y-E 20 and it will give you 20% off. You can also get a free sample kit. So you get free samples with a free shaker bottle of your choice. And all you have to do is pay shipping. And I will also link that down below as well. I became a bucked up ambassador. I also became a ambassador for study clothing company. And I think I have a link for y'all to get a free swimsuit. And I will link that down below for y'all as well. I've just been really getting into the content creation, social media type thing, but I'm trying to not get into too into it to the point where I'm like obsessed with it. Um, I think lately I have kind of become, started to become a little bit overly obsessed with it, but we're trying to work on that. Last, one last thing I wanted to talk about was my relationship with God. I have really grown 
in my relationship with God in the last year. I actually, I'd say six months. So in the last six months, I joined a small group and I meet with them, not every single Tuesday because sometimes Tuesdays I can't make it and some Tuesdays we don't have it, but we meet every Tuesday. It's just really nice meeting other like females my age that want to pursue a relationship with God and it's just really heartwarming to be around them, honestly. Basically, we meet every Tuesday, we talk. Lately, we started this devotional challenge called um, The Comparison Trap and I 100% recommend that because I feel like it has kind of like opened my eyes to like so many things um, and by like comparing myself to others. There is a book for that and there also I believe is YouTube videos you can watch for that as well if you want to start that. I 10 out of 10 recommend if you feel like you've been comparing yourself to everybody a lot recently I think that that challenge will help you out a lot. I don't even think you need to necessarily buy the book. You can probably just watch the videos and use your Bible, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I just wanted to talk to y'all about that. I really have grown in my relationship with God and I'm really proud of where I am. I'm glad I have grown in my relationship with God because I feel so much more freedom um, when I give my life to God. Um, I just it it warms my heart to like sit there and like worship God and read his word and just I'm just really proud of where I am um so that is my little life update I will post um a new vlog hopefully in the next few days after I post this video so I will see y'all in my next vlog <music>